This is Optimal Startup Daily, episode 226. Do you want comfort or growth? By Steve Pavlina of stevepavlina.com. And I'm Dan, your host and narrator here. Welcome to Optimal Startup Daily, where I read to you from some of the best blogs covering entrepreneurship, freelancing, and more. And big thanks to BKA Content for sponsoring today's episode. Did you know that websites with blogs receive 67% more leads on average compared to those that don't? And as a business owner or entrepreneur, having a functional and informational website is crucial to driving leads. So getting into the habit of consistent blogging is almost essential. But we understand that business owners and entrepreneurs wear many hats and have a ton of responsibilities on their plates. This is where BKA content comes in. BKA Content is a content writing agency with 10 plus years of experience that offers monthly subscriptions that deliver ready-to-be-published blog posts straight to your inbox. They're not only writing the content for you, you can even get social media posts, stock images, meta, title tags, and keyword research done by your dedicated account manager. You can choose from four different subscriptions depending on the content volume you need. And if you're interested in trying it out, just go to bkacontent.com slash OSD to learn more and get your free month of blogs. That's bkacontent.com slash OSD to learn more and get your free month of blogs. And now let's get right to today's post from Steve Pavlina and start optimizing your life. Do you want comfort or growth? By Steve Pavlina of stevepavlina.com. At a recent visit to the beautiful Kokonoff flower gardens in Holland, I learned about the practice of topping. As flowers grow, sometimes the growers cut off the tops of the flowers, which they believe causes the plants to invest more energy into flower growth and less into seed production. That expected result is flower buds that will produce higher quality flowers. This is a nice analogy for personal growth as well. Sometimes when we produce preliminary results in a certain area, it can be helpful to cut them off and discard them. This can free up energy for a stronger attempt elsewhere instead of settling into the comfort zone of satisfaction with the old results. After running my computer games business for 10 years and generating satisfying results with it, I decided to drop it and leave that field behind. This freed up my energy to focus on my personal development writing and speaking. If I'd kept running the old business, I'd have become more enmeshed in that field, planting more seeds there, so to speak. This would have meant less energy to invest in my new path and weaker results. It can be difficult to choose the topping approach because you're taking something that's already reasonably satisfying and cutting it out of your life in the hopes that something even better will grow in its place. But if you don't do this, then you can easily stunt your future growth, causing more energy to be invested in planting ever more seeds around the old path. When you decline to make cuts, you effectively say, this is as good as it will ever be, so I'm going to settle myself here. Do you want to settle where you are right now? If so, then topping is unnecessary. But if you'd like to do better and believe you have a good shot at improvement, just like the flower growers at Kokonoff, then topping is a sensible practice. To free up time and energy for future growth in new directions, you have to drop the merely satisfactory. This gives you a shot at the truly beautiful. When you feel like life is becoming too stagnant, try mixing things up now and then. In many cases, you can apply topping on a temporary basis by dropping old routines and trying something new for a while. As a way to mix things up, I've been traveling continuously since April 23rd, first to Germany, then Holland, and now I'm in the UK, staying in the Shoreditch part of London. By the time I return to Vegas, I'll have been in Europe for a month. That's not only my longest trip to Europe, but also my longest trip away from my home base ever. During this time, I've dropped my old routine that I would normally use at home, and I'm trying something different for a while. I arrived with a one-way ticket, with only some part of the trip planned in advance. Even though my home-based routine was reasonably satisfying, by choosing to cut it out for a while, I no longer need to invest any energy in maintaining that routine. This means that more energy is freed up for exploration and growth. That's basically what I'm doing each day, going out, having new experiences, meeting new people, exploring, learning, and growing. I didn't break with the old routine because of any problems with it. The old routine was working okay for me. I broke away because I didn't want to allow myself to get stuck even in a seemingly good place. When you stay relatively still for long enough, you put down seeds. As time passes, these seeds develop stronger and stronger roots. Your reality becomes increasingly solid, and this can make change more difficult. The longer you stay still, the more people will relate to you based on your current position. 
Your thoughts and feelings may become repetitive and circular. Your physical environment may begin to exert more and more control over your daily routine. Pretty soon, you notice that as the years are passing, little is changing in your life. This is the comfort zone. If you like the comfort zone and wish to stay there, that's your choice. I prefer not to get stuck there for too long. As soon as life becomes a little too comfortable and I feel like I can just relax into the satisfaction of maintaining the status quo, I feel the urge to break free of that reality and go for more growth. Stepping outside of your comfort zone is by definition an uncomfortable experience, but it can yield a lot more growth than staying put. During my Europe trip, for instance, each day brings new challenges, like making the mistake of taking the stairs from the bottom of Covent Garden Underground Tube Station, which felt like climbing up from the Earth's core. But with so much to explore and learn each day, it feels like every day includes minor victories of the sort that I seldom experience at home. Dropping satisfaction to go for more growth is not an easy path to follow, but I do find it to be the more beautiful path. Do you feel the same? You just listened to the post titled, Do You Want Comfort or Growth? by Steve Pavlina of stevepavlina.com. And thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this episode. Witness your own transformation as you turn small steps into giant leaps. Skillshare makes it possible. Get two weeks free at skillshare.com OSD. Skillshare is an online learning community that offers membership with meaning. There are so many different topics to explore, including entrepreneurship and freelancing, marketing, illustration, design, and more. I took a Skillshare class called Bookkeeping for Freelancers, How to Handle Your Finances, which is a great resource if you're new to freelancing or starting a business. And I highly recommend it, but come by their site to see more. There are so many interesting classes to check out. Skillshare is also incredibly affordable, especially when compared to pricey in-person classes and workshops. An annual subscription is less than $10 a month. Do something today you couldn't do yesterday with classes designed for real life. As a listener of this show, you know that there's nothing better than getting better. Accomplishing growth is extremely satisfying. So explore your creativity at Skillshare.com OSD and get a free trial of premium membership. That's Skillshare.com OSD for a free trial of premium membership. And thank you to Steve for letting us read his content today. He's a huge blogger in the personal development space, and Justin actually reads a lot of his content over on the podcast Optimal Living Daily. But Steve is also really into entrepreneurship, so he has some great posts that we read to you here also. And just a little bit more background information about him, Steve is widely recognized as one of the most successful personal development bloggers in the world, with his work attracting more than 100 million visits to stevepavlina.com. He has written more than 1,500 articles and recorded many audio programs on a broad range of self-help topics, including productivity, relationships, spirituality, and entrepreneurship. And the idea of conscious growth has really been the central focus of his life. He studies what it means to grow and how we can deliberately invite, process, and integrate new growth experiences. So come by stevepevlina.com for a lot more and to show your support. But that'll do it today here on Optimal Startup Daily. I thank you as always for listening and being a subscriber of the show. Have a great start to your weekend and I'm gonna catch you right back here tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.